Dear Christian sisters, you are welcome to the Women and Family Prayer Series on Revival in the Church, Part 1. I'm Dr. Prosperdo, Elder of the Healing Christian Center in the Prayer Ministry in the United Kingdom. The prayer outline will be on Revival in the Church, Revive Us, Prayer for Salvation, Holy Spirit, Unity, Shake us, O God, let your glory fall, and gifts of the Holy Spirit. Revival in the Church, Psalm 85, verses 6 to 7, Acts chapter 1, verse 8, and Acts chapter 2, verses 1 to 42. Revival, Psalm 85, verse 6. O Lord, let the heart of women begin to turn back to you. Revive in us a passion for your word that will transform our lives. Revive us and revive in us the dreams and visions you have put within us to further your kingdom. Let us be a people who rejoice in everything you are doing in our lives. Transform our relationships with our families, work colleagues, neighbors, and your people as you transform us. Prayer for Salvation, Psalm 85, verse 7. O oh Lord, begin a movement within the women of the younger generation that changes the landscape of the church. We cry out for every husband whose wife knows you, but they don't, that they will come into your kingdom. We call the prodigal daughters back into your kingdom, together with the families you have given them, even as we pray for salvation. We bind the enemy's plans and schemes to stop women from encountering the living God. Let us show the love you pour out upon us to the world that we encounter. We pray for the Holy Spirit. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. God Pour out your spirit on every woman in the local Elim churches. God, pour out your spirit on every woman in the whole Elim movement. God, let the women of our church be women who are led and guided by your spirit. Prepare us to be new wineskins in order that fresh wine may be poured into us. Let us be women who continuously cry out for more of your Spirit in our lives. We pray that your word will go even through Jerusalem, locally, Judea, regionally, and Samaria nationally, and the rest of the world, as in Acts chapter 1, verse 8. God, let us be women who share your transformational gospel firstly with our own families. Let us be women who take part in bringing your righteousness to our cities in order that you will begin to bring whole communities to yourself. Father, we cry out for our nation that you will begin to move like you once did. God, we say, do it again in our time and through us. God, we pray that you will continue to raise up godly women who will continue to travel to other nations to see your kingdom come. God, we pray that you will continue to send women from other nations to our nation to be a catalyst 
in reviving the women of the UK. We pray for unity, Acts chapter 2, verse 1. God restore broken relationships between women in the church. Teach us to be women who don't compete against each other, but who join to pursue a common cause. Gather women together to worship you in spirit and in truth. Put a conviction within women to gather to pray for a move of your spirit and revival in our nation. Anoint us to be women who sharpen one another in every aspect of our lives. Shake us, O God, Acts chapter 2, verse 2. God, break into the lives of women up and down this nation. We pray that you will shake everything in our lives that needs to be shaken, taking us back to the foundations of your word, if need be. Father, we pray for, for a sound from heaven that will awaken our inner woman. God, speak to us in such a way that it shakes us to the very core of who we are. God, we declare, awake you sleeper, rise up from the dead, and Christ will shine through you. Let your glory fall. Acts chapter 2 verse 3. Lord, we pray that your glory will fall, sparking a new favor for you. Lord, bring the women of your church into a place of holiness where they turn from their wicked ways. We pray that in our meetings, your presence will be so heavy that miraculous things will occur as your people meet together. Lord, let your glory fall, not only within our churches, but also in our workplaces. Let your Holy Spirit rest upon us so we get to the place where we refuse to move unless you lead us. We pray for gifts of the Holy Spirit. Acts chapter 2 verse 4. Begin to spend a moment praying in tongues. Father, we declare that the women of this nation will see the full manifestation of your spirit on their lives. We pray for those who have been baptized by your spirit that you will fill them till they are overflowing. We pray for those who have been baptized in your spirit that they will be continuously filled again today. Father, we pray that the gift of the Spirit will be equally distributed amongst the women of our church today. We pray that those women who have received gifts will continue to use them for your glory. We thank you, Lord, for revival in the church and, and among our women and even our men and our children. We give you glory and we give you praise. Thank you, dear sister, for praying along and God bless you and have a wonderful day. Even as you share this prayer with other women on your contact list, be blessed.